what's up cool people it's your girl shay and if you are broke and always asking your friends and family for money you need to tap in yep you need to tap in because this is just for you there are some links in my description that you need to be clicking on if you have a working vehicle or if you're able to rent a vehicle and you're able to drive well hell if you can rent a vehicle you're able to drive right <laughs> but if you're able to drive if you have your license and you're able to rent a vehicle or you have your own working vehicle you need to be signing up for these DoorDash deliveries Uber Eats Postmates you need to be signing up for these things so that you can have some money in your pocket these delivery services do help you pay your bills and I know a lot of people say oh it's not worth it if they're saying that that means they're not doing it right that means they're not doing it right case in point I am in the career of management I was in security management so in between jobs one time while I was waiting on a new contract to start up I did Uber full time now I kind of shot away from Uber Eats and stuff like that but that's something I'm gonna try um, DoorDash has been very good to me Instacart been very good to me but something about uber eats but i'm gonna give it a try again because a lot of my friends also do these homeowners so for y'all to think these are just people oh these are just people who ain't really got nothing going for themselves these are homeowners these are business owners these are um <laughs> corporate american working people cor corporate american working people so <coughs> excuse me this is corporate America. They out here making ends meet and having throwaway money and going on trips and stuff because they're out here Ubering and doing delivery driving. So for those of you that feel like Uber is beneath you, like some of my friends that ask what I'm doing all the time and I tell them, oh, I'm Ubering and they be like, girl, you see me Ubering. <laughs> yeah, I see me Ubering. <laughs> And I keep my nails done, hair done, my car maintenance, my bills paid, credit card bills paid, going on trips, swipe my car the way I want to because of it. I love being able to swipe the way I want to swipe. I like that. I really love swiping my car the way I want to swipe my car. So if you're one of those people that feel like Uber is beneath you, but you're always calling your friends and family asking for money, then this is for you. Look at my description box. You need to be tapping in. You need to be signing up. And you need to be going and getting them books because the money is out there for you. It's out there for you. You do not have to ask people to borrow money. The money is out there for you. I just don't understand if you have a working car and you're not making it happen. Get out here and get this money. If you're hanging around people who um, are broke also, that's another thing. You gotta change up who you're hanging around. If you're hanging around a whole bunch of broke folks, then what, the, you know, they say, <laughs> they say um, birds of a feather, and that ain't always true in every aspect, but look at this. This all y'all do is sit around and talk and talk about how broke y'all are instead of getting to the money? Who's talking about the business plans? I talk about business so much, my friends don't even want to talk to me no more. Because everybody on the ain't on that, you know, same mind frame. But if you're not gonna be on it, that's cool. But don't call me asking me for help when it's come when it comes time. Because I'm out here trying to get it. I'm out here trying to use every second of my life to make sure that I can make something happen for myself. And if you're not trying to do that, you're not going to stop me from getting it and you're not going to eat from the fruits of my labor. You're just not. And I'm, I don't mean no harm. I'm very, I'm not a selfish person. I am very giving. But to a certain extent, if this just an all the time thing, all you do is try to, you sit up here and you laugh at me and my business ventures and me out here getting it, but you sit up here and ask me for money all the time, 
then baby this is for you if you are one of those people to your friend that's out here trying to get it then baby this is for you you need to be hitting up those links in my description box and get into this bag and stop asking your friends and family for money it's a hard truth but that's life life is hard sometimes and everything you're not gonna always hear what you want to hear it's a hard truth i know people gonna be mad but that's just is what it is. Just like, you know what? Another example. Peach McIntyre. Now, you know what? Honestly, I'm going to tell you, that's the first the first person that I started looking at on YouTube. And I was like, what is this? Like, you know, you look at YouTube back in the day for entertainment. Like, just seeing people do crazy stuff, right? And now, it's like, I'm watching these people do the same thing I do in my life go through the same stuff that I go through in my life. And they're recording it and actually benefiting from, um, you know, the monetary state. <sighs> it's just mind-blowing. It's really mind-blowing. So Peach McIntyre, the first person that I watched. And I was like, okay, she's cool. This is a sweet girl. Now she do have some ways about her, you know, but that's just come from, she's tired of it. Y'all got to look at her circumstance and what the hell, um, what the hell she got up against her. Everybody be talking about family don't be like that. Baby, you'll be surprised. You'll be surprised. Some of y'all got family members like her mama. But guess what? Y'all just won't talk about it. Y'all just won't talk about it. You, it's, it's down here. Everybody be putting that shit in the closet. Black folks good for it too. Sweeping things under the rug. Keep it in the family. Don't tell nobody. Damn that. Damn that. If you don't want nobody to know, don't mistreat nobody. Treat everybody with respect. But that just goes to say, though, um, what, what I was going back to say, though, is just that's the first person I watched. And, yeah, she got some ways about her sometimes because everything, I don't disagree with some of the stuff that she be saying. Like, when y'all be asking her to pay a bill and shit. Y'all need to get out here and do what she doing and pay your bills. The same way she's recording and that y'all be so mad about, oh, she just show everything. Then when she don't show something, y'all mad about that. Y'all don't know what y'all want to be mad about. But what you mad about is yourself because you're the one sitting there broke and wondering how to figure this shit out. And she give, the, she give free knowledge away. She give free knowledge away. We're not going to spend the whole time talking about Peach, but I do just want to say that when, <laughs> if you are sitting up there bashing her and hating her, why are you doing that? You need to be writing down the shit that she be saying. You need to be writing down the shit that she be saying. Because you need to be taking note and following the fucking blueprint. She sell this shit for a dollar and all this stuff. Y'all don't need to tap into it. She give away free classes and all that. Y'all just do not even tap into it. I just don't get it. I don't get how people can be. And I know this because sometimes I be going on y'all pages looking at y'all. Sometimes I go on the pages and look at y'all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sometimes I go on them pages and look at y'all. And I'd be like, oh, okay. <laughs> this why you're mad. Yeah. But stop hating and follow the fucking blueprint. Then you can be getting hated on too. And you'll feel exactly where you're coming from. So, anyway, all of this is just derived from get out here and get a bag. I was driving. <laughs> I've been on my grown woman shit lately. <laughs> So I just got my car repair and I've been driving now because now I got to get a motor mount because my motor mount is hitting up against my catalytic converter and I just got my catalytic converter. So I do not want it to damage it. So I'm getting that done this week. But blessings. I know this is all out. We on another thing now. Okay. I done said my part about y'all need to hit them descriptions in my, um, Y'all need to hit them links in my description box. I done said that. Now let's talk about these blessings. Honey, Friday, I went to the doctor because we're trying to figure out why my potassium is low all the time. My doctor's trying to figure out why do I have such low potassium. 
I have got so much blood taken from me. I don't think I got no more blood. And <laughs> now I'm about to do the um, urine collection and get some more labs and get another ultrasound. But anywho, all of this stuff. So for, after I came from the doctor Friday, meeting that for, um, that new doctor, my um, nephrologist, me and him, I turned my lift app on and I ended up picking up this lady and her um her guy friend and her daughter-in-law. And when I tell you they were some genuine souls, that was the I posted that reel about that. We went and ate y'all. They took me $125. This all derived from a $14 ride. All this derived from a $14 ride and they really wasn't even going nowhere. They really wasn't even going nowhere but around the corner, literally. It was such a joy to meet genuine people. I am very iffy. I'm very iffy about who I'm around, who I hang around, who I give my energy to, who I let touch me, and everything. Hugs, doubt even. I am very particular about all that stuff because I believe energy travels. But these were some genuine souls. I did not feel drained after being around them. And a lot of times, that's why I stopped going to church because I used to feel drained every Sunday from picking up everyone else's energy on me. Because I'm an empath. Everybody else's energy be jumping on me. And I would feel so drained and just so tired after church every Sunday. So I stopped going. But I miss church so much. So I think I'm going to start going back. I just got to learn how to. I don't know. I got to learn how to shield myself from that. I don't know. But I had such a good time. It was such great energy. And the conversation was fluent. You know what I'm saying? It just. It was fluid. It just flowed so naturally. Like I knew them. The lady, the older lady, she actually was from my neighborhood where I'm from on the west side of Atlanta. And I was just like, oh my God, this is amazing. Like, these are some good people. And they probably went to the church because a pastor ended up walking up to us while we were in um, in the restaurant. <coughs> Excuse me. A pastor came to the table. So they probably went to that church today. I really, really want to go, but I'm going to say this. And I'm going to get back to my blogging and everything. But I just want people to get up on their good feet and, and get this money out here. Also, I've been creating some digital products that I don't know if I'm going to talk about on here. I did start a business channel. I might start talking about it over here and then move over to my business channel. But anywho, I just know that I'm a lesbian and I know that some pastors some churches all together do not welcome the LGBTQ or SUV WXYZ community I'm not trying to be funny I am one of y'all I just don't know our letters <laughs> okay I'm not being disrespectful because I mean I'm part of the family I just don't know all the letters so that's why I always say all the alphabet when I say it. So anyway, um, I know some churches don't welcome that, but I'm gonna say this: I went to a few churches before joining my church. I went to a few churches before that, and I just did not get that good feeling. Even some churches with um, pastors that was of the LGBTQ community. I went to those churches and still did not feel it. I won't mention the names of the churches, but my church, from day one, a friend of mine introduced me to that church. She was like, come to my church. And I always used to be like, you can get the Lord at home, the Lord at home, you can get the Lord at home, but it's a different feeling being in that building. It's a different feel. It's a different feeling being in that building. Now let me give a disclaimer before y'all say, "Well, you were just cousin, and now you talking about church and the Lord." The disclaimer, and I always try to say this on every video because this what it is. I cuss and love the Lord. So if that's a problem for you, you don't need to be here because I'm going to be me, and He knows me. 
and y'all can't judge me. Nope, nothing you say will ever make a difference because he is the one with the final say if I make it in or not. So that's just bet on it. So, um, yeah, it's like it was a different feeling going into that church, and I just want to make sure whether I go back to my church which would be easy because it's out here by my mama and I be picking her up on the weekends. <clears throat> so it'll be easy and then it'll probably be over by the time it's time for me to pick her up and then I'll be right there around the corner. So I'm thinking I'm gonna start back <clears throat> and I'm gonna just go back to my church. But I was kind of looking for something closer to me but I don't even really wanna go through all that. The lady was very genuine. She was, but I do know that well, she seemed very genuine. I didn't feel any bad energy from her in that one encounter, and I usually can pick up on folks just like that. I know from the jump when, if I'm gonna deal with you or not. I know your character from our first hello. I can feel it, but I just don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna go back to my church or not. I think I am. I will probably visit her church and and see, but I just know that some churches do not welcome the LGBTQ community and I'm just not going forward. I mean, I am who I am. God knows who I am and I just feel like y'all gotta remember that Bible is man-made. That, that, uh, a man got a hold, man got a hold to that and made it to where they want to bend it to fit what they want you to do. Just like it's slavery and everything inside of the Bible. Come on with the jokes. You think God really wanted us to be subject to that kind of treatment? Let's be for real now. That's when you got to use your thinking cap. Y'all know what thinking caps are, right? You went to school. You know, yeah, we're a little old enough to know what a thinking cap is. So we know you got to kind of use it sometimes use it sometimes because a lot of times you know I'm, a lot of things in that book are just written to bend us to what they want us to do. Really. It really is. So you really got to use your thinking cap. Now, I definitely believe in there's a God. That's no doubt about it, baby. You can't tell me no different. You can't tell me there's not a God. But I just know that he wouldn't want us to be subject to some of the things in that book. Man will definitely take something and make it their own, boy. I tell you. Ooh, wee. It's a shame. What's going on up here? Smoke. Let me get on past here. Go on, y'all. Y'all be so nosy. That's how people get busted in the head. God dang. Anyway, I've said I'd like to say right now. I hope y'all have an amazing Sunday. I hope the rest of your week goes well. This is the beginning of a new week. <sighs> Gotta go back to work on two jobs tomorrow. Two jobs, Lord Jesus. I can do this. I know I can do it. I know I can do it. I ain't got no choice. I, got, I'm, I have a goal in mind. And I'm gonna have everything that I want in life. I always say that I'm going to have everything I want in life. And I am. I've had everything that I wanted in life. I'm going to continue to have everything I want. I hope you have that same attitude. If you don't get some of that in you, y'all have an amazing one. I'm out.